All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Today, today is the day that I have been waiting for for quite a long time because today the GMTK 2020 Game Jam begins. If you're not already aware, the GMTK Game Jam is put on by the YouTuber Mark Brown who runs the Game Makers Toolkit YouTube channel. You should definitely go check that out if you're into game development at all because he really breaks down um, a lot of game design stuff. Anyways, he's actually hosting a game jam this weekend. It's a 48 hour game jam, and it begins in just a few hours at 12 p.m. Pacific time on today, Friday, July 10th, and it runs all the way until Sunday, July 12th at noon Pacific time. So anyways, I'm very excited about this. This is actually the first GMTK jam that I will have the pleasure of participating in, and you all can join me along in the journey because I am going to be streaming most of the development of this game throughout the course of the weekend. And if you yourselves are gonna be participating in this game jam, I'm gonna have a little form that you can submit. I'll probably have a link ready um, by the time this video goes live down in the description there for you. Um, where you can actually submit your game and I'm gonna be playing it on a live stream um, next week. So I think this would be a really cool opportunity for me to get a chance to play all of your games and be able to give you some feedback and critiques on your games. So anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about five habits that I'm going to be implementing during the course of this game jam, um, because I think these are kind of you know important things that I definitely need to like work on um, doing much more in my regular development. So these are some things that I want to practice kind of in this 48 hour small little setting um, to sort of get myself in the habit of doing these things more often. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll let you know what type of game I'm planning on making over the course of this 48 Eight hour game jam. And so with these five habits, you're gonna be noticing two themes throughout them. So the first theme is do this early and do this often. Because frankly, in these game jams, I end up pushing a lot of things to the very end and that is just not a good idea because I end up running into a whole bunch of problems. Now the other kind of theme between all these different habits is transparency. I want to kind of make my game development for this as transparent as possible. So that's one of the reasons that I'm going to be live streaming most of this development over the course of the weekend. So again, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of those live streams. I think they're going to be a ton of fun. Also, you can let me know down in the comment section below um, what types of habits that you're gonna be implementing in either the GMTK game jam or any future game jams. So anyways, habit number one is going to be to build early and build often. Far too often during these game jams, I'm pretty much just working in the editor for the most part and doing all my testing within the editor. And then it's not usually until like the last day where I end up making an actual build for the you know web platform or Windows platform. And then when you actually make a build of that, then you realize that there are a whole bunch of issues um, and things that you kind of need to tweak for the specific platform that you're building on. So one thing that I'm going to be doing is build early and build often. Basically what I want to do is during the live stream, I'm gonna have a link where you can all you know, play the latest build of my game. So you can just hit that link and then I want to be updating this build pretty much in real time so you guys can all be able to actually play the game during the course of development and you can kind of play test it and give me your feedback on it. And I think this is going to be really important because we're going to be able to figure out a bunch of those issues for those specific platforms well before I normally would when I'm like building at the very last minute. So the next habit I'm going to be implementing is to commit early and commit often. And now when I say commit, I'm of course talking about Git or GitHub commits. Um, again, with this, I just kind of want to have full transparency and just being able to push uh, live code to my GitHub as frequently as possible so you guys can see my code pretty much in real time. Um, you can scroll through that and kind of see what's, what's going on. If you guys, of course, have any pointers of things I can do better, I'm very much open to all of that. But just in general, for me, typically when I'm doing game jams or honestly even development in general, I really only like commit to github at the end of the day and so with this i want to be basically committing after like i do every single feature which is pretty much how you're supposed to be using git so anyways i am going to be starting the stream a little bit earlier than the game jam actually starts i'm planning on starting at 10 a.m and the game jam starts at 12 pacific time and so within those two hours i kind of want to use some of that time to show you how to actually set up my unity project and get it connected to github and all that stuff i want to have all that stuff pretty much out of the way so that when the game jam actually starts then we can focus 
focus on actually designing the game and then developing all the stuff in the game. So the next habit that I wanna have is basically just have like a running list of tasks going on. Again, with full transparency, I'm gonna include a link so you guys can basically jump over to this. It's gonna be set up in um, Notion, which is an awesome tool that I use. So I'll just have a link available to that and you can pretty much see the live, uh, essentially Trello board of all the kind of tasks that I have planned. And then, you know, some tasks that I'd like to have, some of the certain tasks that I'm working on, as well as all the tasks that I've already completed. But again, far too often in these game jams, I end up keeping kind of the running list of tasks I need to do up in my head or like on a post-it note that ends up getting lost somewhere. So I just want to have like a nice central place for me to keep all the tasks that I have. Um, and basically just kind of updating this in real time, I think that's going to be extremely beneficial for me. So the next habit I'm going to implement, and this is going to be 1000% the one that I'm going to be regretting implementing the very most, um, but it is going to be unit testing. So unit testing is something that I really don't do all that much. And I think it's really important. I've been watching a whole bunch of the Infallible Code YouTube channel. You, of course, you can check out the live stream that I did with him a couple weeks ago. I'll have a link to it right here. But on his channel, he talks a lot about test-driven development and how important it is to implement unit tests into your game as you're developing. So then when you add a new feature and then something breaks, you'll know right away, you know, pretty much when and where it is broken and it's going to be a lot easier for you to resolve that problem. So unit test is something that I just wanna start implementing more in general. And so I think the GMTK game jam is going to be, it's going to be an opportunity for me to implement unit tests. We'll just say that. <laughs> so anyways, the last habit that I'm going to be implementing is to include effects. So I'm referring to both graphical as well as audio effects. Now. Pretty much all my game jam games in the past don't include like any graphical or audio effects at all. The nice thing about the GMTK game jam is you don't need to make all the assets yourself uh, within that 48 hour period as opposed to um, typically when I do the Ludum Dare Compo game jam, you have to make you know all the art, all the audio assets within that 48 hour period. The GMTK game jam is a lot more relaxed on that. You can basically use any asset packs or any types of assets that you legally have access to. And so recently I made a video about talking about some of the um, asset packs that I picked up in a Unity Asset Store sale. I'll uh, have a link up here for that for you if you wanna check it out. Um, but I did get some cool graphical and audio effects packs and so I do want to actually make use of those and again, I think the uh, GMTK game jam is going to be an excellent opportunity for me to implement those into a game. So anyways, those are the five habits that I'm going to be implementing over the course of this game jam. Again, I'm gonna be live streaming it all, so you all need to keep me honest, make sure that I'm making all my unit tests and adding in different graphical effects and frequently committing to GitHub. Of course, making sure that I always have a live build of the game that you can play, and then you know making sure that I have that running list of tasks kept up to date. So anyways, as promised, I wanna talk a little bit about the game that I'm planning to make. Most of the times when I go into the game jam, I kind of have like an idea of the type of game that I want to make. I don't think about the specifics of the idea until the theme is actually announced at the beginning of the game jam. Basically the reason is because I want the theme of the game jam to inherently tie into the mechanics of the game. If you look at most of the game jam games that I've made in the past, I, I pretty much take the theme and build the mechanic of the game around that theme. Um, although on most of those game jams, I kind of went into that game jam with the idea of the type of game, the general type of game that I want to make. So anyways, the type of game that I want to make in this game jam is actually going to be a turn-based game. In one of my previous Ludum Dare games, I made kind of like a card game, and that's pretty much the closest thing that I've made to an actual turn-based game, but I, I kind of want to make like a, a turn-based RPG type game, you know, turn-based fighting mechanics basically, because I want to mess around with having like a, a state machine and it just being able to track all that kind of stuff, because it's something that really interests me and I think it just could be I think it's just gonna be fun for me to make and then as far as art style goes I don't really have anything totally set in stone um, but if you do look at the GMTK game jam page I really love that theme they kind of have like the black white and hot pink going on so maybe that's kind of the art style of my game I really like those color combinations 
and I think it could, you know, really stand out, have that pink, you know, really pop. And then because those are kind of like the theme colors of the game jam, maybe it might get me a little bit more visibility in the end rankings. So anyways, I think that's just about all I have to say in today's video. Once again, if you are going to be participating in the GMTK game jam, let me know. And again, submit your game uh, using the form below, and I'll be sure to play that on a live stream next week. And again, don't forget to join me in some of the live streams over the weekend, and we can just kind of chat game development as I... Um, work through the process of making this, you know, whatever hot pink turn-based game is going to be. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those videos. Uh, once again, if you did find today's video enjoyable, make sure you hit that like button. You can also leave me any comments down in the comment section below. Of course, join us over on Discord. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some live chat there for some of the people who are also going to be participating in the GMTK Game Jam. Anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.